Also, my single chats and toxic gamers, how we all doing, man? Now, this is a very delicate topic to say the least, right? Because people want to know, you want to know what went down. Like, did nukes go off? Did somebody, like, burn their PlayStation or Xbox alive? Phil Spencer, is he shutting down Xbox? Is he uh, sending Game Pass to Gulag? Did somebody shove a bamboo up in his bum hole or something like that? People Bruh. really want to know the truth. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. It is imperative that you are fastening your seatbelts because the ride tonight is going to be a little bit bumpy. Sending you some... Let me send you some kisses. In fact, I already did. So full-blown homo right there. Yay! Yay! So you better, you better fasten your seatbelts right now. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Talking today about the Xbox business update because it has finally happened. After tons of rumors and speculation and leaks, Microsoft has officially come out and done a talk about the future of the company and the okay. console. Talking about exclusive games, how Game Pass is going to work going forward, and even some stuff about games that are coming to the PlayStation 5, which honestly has me pretty excited. But oh, let's oh. dig into it. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Okay, it might have you excited and I totally understand it, but guys, to understand the gravity of the situation, let me take you seconds back, like just a few days, okay? Just, I promise you, uh, those of you that know, don't spoil it, okay? Uh, everybody, take your left hand, take your right hand, if you know the story, put it together and send a prayer out brother's way because this is a, a guy very wholesome guy looks like that he's blessed with five kids a couple of days ago when we heard the story and we had rumors that said that uh, apparently xbox games coming out on playstation man started crying on camera though yeah he almost cried on camera and now we're fi figuring out that like Sega's panicked for no damn reason but admittedly they talk about the next gen xbox and they also talk about a bunch of other stuff like game pass stuff is game pass shutting down though we better find out let's see so first and foremost this was the format and i think it was probably a good choice to do it okay. these are the three heads of xbox this is uh -huh. phil spencer this is sarah bond and this is matt booty pretty much literally and come on man say it with respect like you mean it it's mad booty every single decision about games and release dates and projects that get canceled it goes through these three people but this entire talk was very long, it was very in-depth, and a lot of it was about not just Xbox, but kind of the industry as a whole. Mm. Now, a bunch of the leaks leading up to this were incredibly pessimistic. People yeah. thought that maybe every Xbox game was going to start to come to PlayStation, or maybe Xbox would straight up you know, maybe stop making consoles. It turns out that's definitely not the case. Now, yeah! I mean, listen, man. <laughs> If that was gonna going to happen, I swear to God, man. <laughs> Damn, man. Like, listen, man. Okay, for the memes, I wish we had some, like, saucy news today. Like, uh, you know, all the games coming on PlayStation. I kind of, you, you know, you guys know what I mean, right? Today, there was no boom. There was no sauce. Like, all the news was kind of good today, though. Like, I just wanted, like, at least one bad news so I could have seen, like, more fanboys kind of like, y y come on, guys. Like, I cannot be the only one. You also feel that way. Whether... You're a Sony pony, whether you're an Xbox Andy, or you're like a PC Master Race, Nintendo drone, or just a normal gaming fan, right? Like, uh, here and there, <laughs> we kind of love some uh, bad news. Come on, man, guys, don't lie to yourselves. Don't lie to me, man. Drop a like if you actually agree. But, uh, this is a breakdown. I, I, I want to talk about it because this entire thing was strange to me. I I'm very optimistic because it does sound like Xbox is just not making enough money it seems like perhaps microsoft guys i'm optimistic but xbox not nah, making it which is kind of true in comparison to playstation but i mean microsoft got that a few money but it doesn't mean that they don't want to make the money but like uh like damn man optimistic optimism guys free 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 oft is annoyed that they spent you know hundreds of billions of dollars buying stuff like bethesda and activision blizzard and they want to try and find a way to make that money yeah. back so and uh the only way eh, 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 the only way they can find uh, the only way they can actually make the money is by selling you the friendly Here's the dealio. They opened up by confirming that four Xbox first party games are coming to other platforms. Oh, wow. Now they said there will be no Wait change to exclusivity in our strategy. So they said specifically, they said this specifically, Starfield and Indiana Jones are not 
come into the PlayStation 5. Now, mm. admittedly, as a person that loves collecting trophies on my PlayStation 5, I've got an Xbox. I beat Starfield on my Xbox, but I will admit I was excited to possibly play these games on my PlayStation 5 and try and platinum them. Even though I don't really like Starfield, it would have been cool to pop some trophies and buy that game again. But here's this. Okay. Okay. We made these... Gamers are the only species on planet Earth that would trash a game that would be like, okay, the game is crap, trash, never buying, and then ends up like platinuming or 100%ing. <laughs> I, I swear to God. And people then ask like, like, why is it like the best selling game? Why is it the best selling game? You suckers keep on buying trash. You suckers keep on, or I shouldn't, I I'm kind of harsh right there. I'm kind of like aggressive. I'm sorry for that, guys. Let me send you some kisses, okay? Um, I, I, I agree, I was a little bit harsh there, but you, you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, sick is that, that thing that a game is trash, they, they, they still buy it, like, why? Like, what? why y'all keep doing this to yourself? If you think a game is bad, why buy it? But, I mean, listen, man, it's like talking to a wall, right? Gamers, I'm a gamer, I understand the psychology. You can never convince a gamer, okay? And you also, I'm, I'm, the same goes for me, okay? If there's a game I like, you can never convince me that the game is trash. Or you can never convince me that a game is good that I believe is trash. You feel what I'm saying? You just can never, you know, convince a gamer other way around. It just Decisions never Decisions for the long-term health of Xbox in mind and reaching more players. Now, now, they specifically talked in here as vaguely as possible. A lot of people are just basically joking about the fact that they still will not say what the games are. They just said, mm. hey, four games that are Xbox exclusives are going to be coming to non-Xbox consoles. Yo, what if, like, those games are actually, like, Redfall? <laughs> Redfield, Redfield, and Director's Cut, Redfield too, dog. I, I swear, yo, to be honest, like, we're hearing it's going to be Hi-Fi Rush, I believe, Sea of Thieves. Uh, there are two other games. If you know the name, put it in the comments. Some people were believing Halo and Forza, but it looks like that they're not happening it doesn't mean that they cannot they might happen and some people are also like this might be a shocker though okay yay let's talk about it guys like whoa fastening your seat belts if, uh, if you if you actually were like okay let me go on a uh, pee break or something like that and you stood up in a plane right now like you better sit down bro because we uh, i'm hearing just hearing the weather reports are not looking good the weather up ahead is might actually cause a little bit of turbulence though oh, yay because right now seconds are also saying that yo what if phil spencer or phil spender that's the name of his uh beautiful name by the way that phil spencer is backtracking because the rumors got out there right he saw reaction they saw people selling their xboxes and if you don't believe me i mean listen man this is like chris i covered that in the other video as well absolutely hilarious stuff right uh, and we saw like a lot of Xbox fanboys go like bonkers as well. Senior quality engineer of Xbox, right? He says that I'm sorry for anyone who sold their Xbox because of the rumors. How pathetic fanboys gotta be on both sides, right? <laughs> I mean, I understand the banter and the fun way to say I'm gonna burn my, my PlayStation. I'm gonna burn my Xbox and send it to console heaven. Okay, that part I understand. But like, I, I, there is a conspiracy going around that Phil Spencer, Phil Spencer, is backtracking now because he saw the response online i mean listen you never know but realistically i i do I, I always felt this way and i talked about it previously too that i don't think like games are gonna come all the games are gonna come some might and realistically which uh, realistically we're gonna see like xbox exclusives come out later on right possibly and probably not day one and i guess that's what's happening maybe starfield and indiana jones one day are gonna come but you see one day they're gonna come they're not gonna come day one though i want to know your thoughts do you believe they're that obviously being stupid it's pretty obvious that the games are going to be hi-fi rush pentanet sea of thieves and grounded yeah, basically please. phil spencer his stupid pointless hints were that it was going to be live service games that need to reach a bigger audience that are over two years old okay so that's definitely sea of thieves that's definitely grounded so uh -huh. Uh -huh. these games to me i never played a second of pentiment i heard it was a very good game i think it's interesting that they're clearly trying to find a way to get extra cash beyond mm -hmm. just the scope of game pass they want to try oh. and find a way to sell games to gamers and let's face it 
the freaking Nintendo Toxic Gamers. Nintendo Switch, I think it sold 150 million consoles. I think they're up to 56 okay. million PlayStation 5 sold. It's pretty clear that the whole strategy here is the idea of, okay, how can we get this huge untapped market to fork over cash? To yeah, this is something like, it's logical, right? We talked about it as well, like logically, like even if they were to, if they were to bring like all the Xbox exclusive on the PlayStation, right? Yeah, fanboy's gonna have meltdown, right? But Microsoft was gonna make so much money. Even with these four games, they're gonna make a lot of, a lot more revenue. Uh, obviously, if they were to bring Indiana Jones, Starfield, even though Starfield is like an alright game, it's not a trash game. It's not the banger like some people and how a lot of people were saying. It's I mean it's like kind of like average, below average kind of ish. But but let's be real, objectively they were gonna up the revenue a lot. And you never know, they might might bring it like later down the road, or later down uh, later down the road, like a year from now, two years from now, or maybe even never. Let's be real, that's always a possibility because of the response that we saw from the play, uh, Xbox fanboys. And I gotta say, maybe Xbox fanboys really saved. Xbox, oh, shit. right? Because or, let's be real, right? Let's keep a bug here, right? Obviously, there's like uh, like some uh, type of content that's guys do not. Don't chase a pom pom. Stay focused. We must stay focused, my brothers. We must stay focused. But let's be real. If we were to get all the Xbox exclusives day one, you know the they they were gonna kill Xbox though. They were gonna make X, uh, having Xbox. Like, just another box of plastic, which it already is. At PlayStation, is just a plastic, okay? These consoles are just plastics. I never get get it when suckers actually <laughs> make it so they love these plastics more than their family members. Bruh. That happens, you don't believe me? I mean, suckers were crying based on the rumors. 38-year-old man was crying. Can you believe it? I mean, somebody to, like, what is going on in the world? These are like first world problems, but objectively speaking though, if they were to bring all the Xbox exclusive dog, like there was no reason to buy Xbox, but there was surely a reason to get Game Pass though. I would still say like as somebody that does not own Game Pass, <laughs> Game Pass is a very good for model for gamers. I, I love it. It's, uh, it's like what, 15, 20 bucks a month? Maybe they increase the price even more. I'm not sure, but the last time it was like that, you know, uh, depends i mean also in canada so that's why like i say 15 20 uh together uh because inflation and price difference yeah you guys know how it is it's kind of tough out there living life in the six guys uh, make sure you guys are smashing like man uh you know what i'm saying because uh, it helps a little bit man like can i brother get two pennies or something like that us for the games we already made which i can't really blame them that's definitely a smart move now here's something i'm personally happy about i'm obsessed with diablo 4 i've got my big old diablo 4 tattoo Brand. i have actually 500 hours in diablo 4 just on ps5 that's coming to game pass on march 28th hell yes diablo 4 is so fun play that on game pass it does have cross save cross progression i'm gonna install it on my game pass just so i have another reason another spot to play it Okay. For okay. Is it good though? Because I first heard that it was, but then I saw a lot of people uh, like crying over that. A lot of people complaining, a and apparently now it's good. I'm not sure what's going on. I need a second opinion because I'm not sure. I need an expert and toxic gamer <laughs> opinion in the in the comments right now. First party games will continue to come to Game Pass on day Wait one. For it. So one of the leaks that clearly they're trying to put to bed is that there apparently was this rumor that somebody may start yeah. to charge $60 for their game up front, whether it is Bethesda or Activision Blizzard. There was talk- Yeah, and we talked about it as well, right? And it, this was a rumor that did also did say, and so far, it, it, Phil has not clarified. The rumor was essentially that Call of Duty is not gonna come day one on um, Xbox Game Pass. Oh, shit. And maybe not even at all. I believe there was a rumor that said that not day one and also like never coming. I believe these were two separate rumors. Again, rumors, right? Uh, and they're not 100% confirmed. Now, what Phil said, and I was watching, uh, what Phil said that Activision games are gonna come on Game Pass. Now, Call of Duty is an Activision game. So, technically, it means it's gonna, but when he said, then quickly after, he said Diablo 4. But he does, he did say Activision games. So, I would say it's like a 50-50, right? I feel like that Call of Duty is gonna come out on Game Pass. They're gonna up the sales big time for Game Pass and Game Pass uh, it's like what 34 million or something like that it's gonna easily shoot up maybe five ten more million easy right especially if Call of Duty 2024 is on it I can easily see Game Pass getting up to like 40 million maybe even 45 million and like you know wait two more years it can maybe three years I guess three years that's realistic if things do not go south for Xbox and if they if they really try 
to make good and decent games because they're having trouble, guys. Let's be real. That's not even a Sony Pony take right now, okay? Come on, Brad. Come on. That's not Xbox Andy or Sony Pony talking. They're clearly having trouble. I mean, PlayStation, they got like some few decent games. Let's be real. But this console generation as a whole, like whether that's PlayStation, Xbox, it feels dry as hell. Do I don't even know if you guys actually played during the PlayStation 3 days or not. If you did, let me know in the comments. PS3 360 days, golden time, okay? PS4, Xbox One wasn't that bad of an era, right? We had decent games. We surely did have a decent enough games. And uh, now it's like we're halfway through the console life cycle. Xbox talking about the next gen Xbox. <laughs> PS5 Pro is coming out this year. We're gonna get into in just a second. The next gen Xbox 2026. That's a rumor, not confirmed just yet. But they said hardware gonna be. Uh, they're gonna talk about it by the end of this year. So holy crap! You know, PlayStation 6 supposed to come out 2027, 2028. We're halfway through. Where are the games? Where are I'm ask I'm asking to Sony. I'm asking to Microsoft. What the hell is going on? that certain games that currently are slated to go to Game Pass maybe would have an upfront cost even on the Xbox. They have completely killed that rumor and said, nope, everything is coming to Xbox Game Pass that was yeah. already coming to Game Pass. They said Xbox Game Pass will only live on Xbox. Yeah, so it sounds yeah. like there's no rumors of them trying to bring Game Pass to PS5 or Nintendo Switch, which there were actually a ton of rumors a couple years ago about maybe some sort of Xbox partnership, maybe Microsoft. Maybe they tried and Sony declined or maybe the rumors were false. It's like one of those things that we will never know. But I truly do feel like that if they were not bringing in like the Xbox Live, like for example, right? Um, if I was like Phil, what I would have done is that don't bring like any Xbox titles on PlayStation. Just put Game Pass everywhere. Dog, the sales would have been on the on on flying through roof though, through the roof though. Like PlayStation got 100 million, right? Imagine Game Pass on that. Nintendo as well, like 150 some bull sh bull squash like that. Like Game Pass would have been flying, and through Game Pass, you p get to play the Xbox exclusive, right? Obviously, that's gonna we're, we're still would have seen like huge, massive fanboys melt. Done, but like if I was Microsoft I would have done that right but obviously I, I I don't think Sony would want that want that like I, I don't think so gets game pass on Nintendo switch apparently <laughs> that's dead so <laughs> here's the part that's actually the most curious to me exciting stuff about Xbox hardware coming yeah. up this holiday Damn. so there was this tweet that they said hey Xbox is going to continue to be our flagship experience for console players and we'll have more to share for you this holiday season. So I can't show it to you, but they already leaked the console during the Activision what? Blizzard FTC case. Um, yeah. Uh, one of the Xbox lawyers attached a bunch of top secret documents that were unencrypted. It was a whole mess, but a bunch of top secret Xbox stuff that's not like super vital got leaked out. And one of them was this new console. It's like a little cylinder. It's a more streaming focused device, a purely digital Xbox that relies yeah. a lot on cloud. I still want to yeah, see it. I was going to say that and it did talk about like all di digital only future you're gonna own nothing but be happy Dee! you know we how many times we talk about this bull squash right and this came from the activision and the ftc saga and because of that we heard about gta shik as well we also heard about playstation 5 i believe uh, okay not sure about ps5 pro but we surely did hear about playstation 6 but i feel like that during today's uh, you know podcast Phil was leaning more towards, hey, they're gonna game preservation, right? They're still gonna be about physical media. So I don't think that the next Xbox right now, okay, right now, I don't think that the next gen Xbox will be <laughs> digital only though. Yay, I mean, that's good, that's good. But let's be real, like, who are, who are we kidding, guys? Like, you know it, I know it. Microsoft, Sony, eventually. I see Microsoft doing it first, because they have a lot more money than uh, PlayStation. Let's be real. Who are we kidding, bro, guys? Like, eventually, they they are gonna make digital-only consoles. Uh, in fact, PlayStation is already doing it when you think about it. Like, digital version and fiscal version. They need fiscal for now. Because otherwise, you know, gamers are gonna go crazy at them. They're gonna go in ganging, okay? They were to just make it digital-only. So, this is, this is the only thing. This is the only reason why they're not doing it. Because uh, if they do, like, sales are gonna plummet big time. Obviously, that was a CGI mock-up. I want to see the actual console itself. Here's the thing, though. I'm still curious because it sounds like Xbox is not trying to make an Xbox Pro, whereas PlayStation 
there's rumors that they're yeah. about to make a PlayStation 5 Pro. So I'm going to be curious to see if PlayStation starts to get even more far ahead in general with console sales. Currently, the PlayStation 5 is outselling the Xbox 2 to 1 in most regions, 3 to 1. Now, the rumor here is that the next gen Xbox is going to be coming out in 2026. And I think the reason is a next PlayStation 2027 or 2028. And I think the reason is that they realize that they cannot catch up Sony. So, and I think this is very, very smart if they were to do that. And if they are not already, if I was like Phil Spencer, I would have 100%, I would 100% do that. Because like, think about it for a second, right? PS5 Pro comes out this year, 2024, by the end of it. Let's just say 2025 even. And the next gen Xbox comes out by the end of 2026, almost like 2027. Uh, and the next gen PlayStation is going to come out like two years after that. Like, I mean, listen, like people are then people that want to have, you know, a console that's better than PS5 and PS5 Pro, they're going to go with like Xbox, right? So Xbox is going to get like two years head start and then you're going to get PlayStation 6. I, I mean, I think they're going to sell a lot of units and then when ps6 comes out you come out with the you know an xbox pro version of that 2026 xbox version you know you feel what i'm saying i think that would be a killer strategy but obviously only time will tell us for sure click on this video on the screen because recently the drama went crazy man the drama has been absolutely wild guys click on this video on the screen don't sleep on it and i'll see you right there